Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine and this is Crochet Cricut. And for today's project, I'm going to teach you how to make these crochet book covers. They're so cute. You can use them with any little small book that you get um, at the dollar store or a stationery store. Um, and they're really simple to make for a beginner. This one even has a little bookmark built into it. You can make it on a bigger scale for a bigger notebook or keep it small for these pocket journals. So let me show you the materials on what you're going to need to make this project. Okay, so for this project, you're going to need two colors of yarn, one for your main color uh, of your cover, um, and you're going to need it to be a lightweight category one cotton. If you have a category two, that might work too as well. It just will be more bulky when you close the book. So try to use a lightweight or a category one. This is rainbow eight slash four um, from Hobby. That's what I'm using here. I'm going to do this example with the light color so you guys can see it. And then I'm going to use the darker color for the stitching. Um, I'm going to use a two millimeter hook for this project, a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Okay. So let's get started. So to begin, we're going to want to get our book uh, and we're going to want to make a chain. I'll just take the book out of this one. We're going to want to make a chain to go from one end to the other uh, for the length of the book or the height of the book that you're trying to cover. Okay, so for this particular uh, book, this particular notebook, uh, it's going to be 34 stitches across, so I'm going to chain 35. I'll just move that out of the way. Uh, and to get started with my chain, I'm going to do a slip knot. Insert my hook, and then we'll just do the 35 chains. So I'll meet you back. Okay, so I've made my 35 chains. I'll lay it on the book so you can see how it looks on the notebook. Okay, so laying flat, it's like almost exactly to the end. Now I am going to work into the second chain from the hook. The first, um, the first round, or sorry, the first row is going to be single crochet. So we're going to go into the second chain from the hook and we're going to work a single crochet and we're going to work single crochets all the way across that chain. And then I'll meet you back. Okay. So I've done my first row of a single crochet. I have 34 single crochets out of that chain of 35. And if I lay this down, that fits right across um, my book, my notebook. So that's the perfect size. Uh, if it comes out just a tiny bit too narrow at the end, you can always go all the way around it with a row of single crochet. So I wouldn't worry uh, if it fits just. Just I think is good because you do want this to fit kind of closely to what you're doing. Now for row number two, and you're going to do um, the same uh, row every, it's a, it's the same row all the way across, except for the first row is single crochet and then row number two and every other row is half double. So we're just going to chain one, turn our work, and then we'll go into that same very first stitch and we'll do a half double. Now that very first stitch for some people might be hard to see when you're coming back across. So if you if you have a hard time seeing your first stitch, you might want to put a stitch marker on that stitch. Okay, and then you're just going to go all the way back across here with half doubles. So I'll do around a, a row of half doubles and then I'll meet you back. Okay, I'm back. So I've done my row of half doubles and if I place that I think that that's looking good for my book sleeve. All right, so you're just going to want to repeat that. Um, you're going to do rows of half doubles all the way. I'm just going to take the book completely out. You're going to do that all the way from here until you get to the width of your book. And you're going to leave yourself space to make one final round, uh, row of uh, single crochet. So on the right side of our work, we have single crochet. 
And then our very last row is going to be single crochet. But all the other rows in between are half doubles. And what it does on the fabric, I don't know if you can see it on this dark fabric, but it has a very nice detail. Once I make up this piece in this light gray, then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like um, before we add the other stitching and the flaps. Okay, so do your piece all the way up to the, the last row and meet me back. Okay, so we're back and I've completed my piece um, here. So now what you can see is the, the stitch definition um, of doing the half double crochets in rows. We get these little stripes that look very nice. Um, I tried to work it where I have um, a single crochet row on both ends on the right side. Okay. Um, and there's not really a wrong side or a right side, but I just try to do that on the both on the same side. Um, and so now this came out just a little bit more narrow than the other one I did, um, but that's fine. What I usually do is uh, either I do slip stitching around. So like this here, this is slip stitching. It's like flat. Um, and that's how I connect the, the little sleeve pouches. Or if I want just a little bit more um, width up here, then I'll do all the way around with single crochet. But I won't do it now. What we'll do uh, first is we will sew our running stitch for the detail on the book. And then we're going to need to make our two pockets, which consist again of um, single crochet row and then three or four half double crochet rows and then another row of single crochet. So these um, these pockets here, you just want to make them uh, about a quarter or a third of the width of the side of the book, right? But before we do that, I'm going to cut this yarn here off of my piece. And then we're going to put our detailing stitching on there. So I'm going to take my contrasting color. Okay. I'm going to cut off that little thing there. And then I'm going to take about, I'm going to take a piece that is about, because we want to have like a tail on this end and we want to have a tail on this end to sew it in. So we need, you know, enough enough to do that. It's a, it's a straight stitch, so you don't need a whole lot of extra. Okay, like that. Drill all this other stuff out of the way. And then I'm going to get my darning needle and thread that through. Okay, so that's on there. And what we're going to do is you have to kind of figure out um, where you want your line to be on the side of the book. And I usually just do it kind of near to the edges. Okay. So I'm going to do it on this. Let's start on this end. Uh, and I like to use these um, half double crochet bars as like a place to do it. And I'm going to do it right above that stripe of half double crochet twist that's left in that stripe. Okay, and I'm just going to come up from the bottom and I'm going to leave myself a tail to sew in. And it just goes straight across. So you can go over, under, over, under, right, with these holes. So I'm going to go over that one and then under that one, over that one, and just in and out like this. And then pull it through like that. And we're just going to do that. And it's really quick and easy to do. Now, I am using a pointy needle. I should probably be using my, my blunt needle just so I don't accidentally pick up some fibers. It should be okay, though. I would recommend using a blunt needle just in case you make a mistake. You don't want to have picked up fibers doing this. Okay, you see how easy that is? So you just go in, over, under, over, under, over, under, all the way up. Oh, 
over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and we're almost there, nearly there to the end. It's like it takes no time at all to do this little detailing work, and it really gives the book like a more authentic looking cover kind of a, a vibe. That okay, and I'm just gonna pull this out, and now I've got one of my um my stitching's done so do that um same thing on the opposite side and then fold your book in half and you can use those stripes of the half double crochet as indicators so maybe i'll do one right here and then one right here so i'm going to do that and i'll be right back there we go so i have done all my stitches uh in and that's how it's looking. Uh, looks pretty good, I think. Fold it up looks like this, one half of it, on this, like this on the other side. Uh, and what we need to do now is we need to make two flaps on the inside for the inside pockets. There. Okay. And um, yeah, so I'm going to make my two pockets. And then we're going to seam up uh seam the pockets on so i'll meet you back once that's done okay so i'm back and i have finished my pieces so this is what we have i have uh, sewn in all my tails um this is the back side the inside is where i've sewn in all my tails this is the front side that's how it looks um like i said it came out just a hair more narrow than this one for whatever reason maybe I was one stitch off or maybe uh, my tension was different it's no big deal uh, so what I'm gonna do now I have made these two pieces and this is the front side and this is the back side I can tell because th this is the front edge of uh, my starting chain and this is where I want to put to the inside so I want to put this like this and then the other one like this and I've left my yarn attached okay to my last um, row so I did a row of single crochet and then one two three of half double and then another row of single crochet so it looks like that now if this was the size I, if this was the, exactly the perfect size, I would just slip stitch it. But because I want just a tiny bit more space, I'm going to single crochet it on. Okay, so we're just going to put these two pieces together. And I want my single crochet to show on the front and not the back. So I need to have the front side facing me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in from the front piece on that first stitch and I'm going to pull the working yarn that I left attached on my piece through to the front side of the work okay and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to uh, do a single crochet in that first stitch there and then that's attached okay now I'm just going to work a single crochet in every stitch across through both pieces. So I'll go into the, that stitch and then I'll go into the stitch on the back and I'll single crochet. Okay, so we'll have the single crochet showing on the front side. So just make sure that as you're doing this that you're looking at the front side of your piece and that your pocket is on the back. Okay, so single crocheting the two pieces together, single crocheting the two pieces together, and like I said before, if I was doing it the other way, I could just slip the stitch right through, right? But because I'm doing single crochet, it will give me just a little bit more height on the top of the book cover. So just keep going along, single crocheting those two pieces together, and then until you get to the end, and I'll meet you back for the corner. Okay, I'm at the corner. Um, this is what it's looking like so far. So I did um, one single crochet in the corner. I think I might do, let's see how many I want to do. I'm going to do maybe two more. So 
That will be three single crochets to turn the corner. And now you're working on the side of the work. So you just kind of have to go in where you where it looks nice. So like on this bar here I'll go in and then at the bottom of that stitch there I'll go in and then maybe I'll go yeah just keep watching it as you go to make sure that this that it's straight and you're not putting too many stitches and still we're catching the piece on the back so you do want to have a look to the back of your work to see like here am I doing it straight enough like maybe I could even do that a little straighter pull this out and look do you want that piece there to be like lined up the way you want it okay and you're just stitching across grabbing both the front and the back piece as you go and then go all the way to the corner of that piece on the back and make sure that the back of it is looking the way you want and I think that looks okay this time so I'm gonna keep going across so I'm gonna go all the way across and I'll meet you back at the other corner okay so I have done this side here and I'm getting pretty close to my next um, corner so I'm just gonna flip over my work and position my flap and remember I want to take the the starting edge and put that to the inside because it kind of looks like a nice neat edge um, to do it that way so I'm gonna put my piece like this and then I'm going to just grip it there you can pin it in place if it helps you just with straight pins or whatever um, this is so small I'm good to just hold it so I'm going in and I'm gonna grab the corner of that piece on the back to get it in place and now I'm going through both layers again as I stitch oops trying to go in where I can <laughs> where it looks nice grabbing both pieces until I get all the way back to the end and again at the end I might do three to get it in place all right and now I'm gonna do once again all the way across this to the next corner and then you're just gonna repeat that and just make sure that like you like the line you're making with your single crochet and it takes a little bit of practice to get that to be kind of straight and not too many stitches and not too few stitches but just watch how you're doing that and just continue that all the way around until you get back to the start all right so I have finished my last side that's my last little tail there this is what it looks like on the front and now we should be with that single crochet row yeah it's almost exactly the same size as this one now great so moment of truth let's see how the book fits <laughs> fingers crossed all right that we like it so I'm gonna put this here slide in there and then the other flap and it fits looks pretty good close it up and then you know you can do lots of other things too you can put an embellishment there you can put a strap 
with a button. You can add your little attach here and make a bookmark inside. Uh, so that's our little book. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you like this kind of co uh, content, um, please like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what other kind of tutorials you would like to see. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thanks, everybody.